Well today I'm going to be showing you how to plant and grow these artichokes, globe artichokes. A lovely plant, a very large plant, so you need to be aware of just how big these are going to get. The variety we're going to be planting today is one called Green Globe. Now for the southeast of England, I think this is one of the best varieties to choose from. The reason we went for it is there are quite a few purple varieties, one's called Purple Globe and a something violet globe artichoke which do look a little bit prettier but what you do need to be aware of is as soon as you cook those they go green so you're not going to serve anything looking fancy on a plate and the flowers when they open on all the varieties are pretty similar is there much in the way of difference in taste well only maybe a very slight difference and if you want to grow them easily and well and get a good crop off these then Green Globe, I still think, is one of the best. Now they can be grown from seed, very easy to germinate from seed. It's quite a large seed. Could be planted over early spring or late winter, but perhaps the cheapest way of getting these at the moment is to buy established plants like this. I picked these up in the local garden center. I saw them and I just couldn't resist them. I wasn't planning to actually grow more rows of globe artichoke, but saw the plants and just thought, I've got the ideal new border and the position is just right here. They need to be four or five leaves. They need to have been hardened off if they've been grown in a greenhouse. And I've had these in a little frame for a few uh, weeks now, growing them on and keeping them watered. And this is the border where we're gonna grow them. And you can see it's a newly established and formed raised border, which is ideal for them. I'm gonna put them along this back wall in front of that path but as the last thing on the north face of this border because they'll grow up to around 1.5 meters in height and they clumps themselves at this time of year and throughout summer form quite extensively large dense clumps of leaves so if you plant them and then try and grow anything behind them on the north face of them it's going to be in deep shade so this is an ideal position the spacing distance for these is around three foot. That's the sort of diameter of each clump, if you like. So by spacing them in around two feet away from the back border and three foot apart, we'll see if I've got the numbers right for this. I just guesstimated how many I was going to need. Whether I'll get all six in or not, I don't know. Let's space them out and see how they go. Well, if I was being absolutely pedantic on the three foot spacing, then I'd only get five in here. That's three foot as measured by a welly distance between them. I'm going to be a bit cheeky and I'm going to put all six in. So I'm going to space them a little closer than that. Let's redo that. There we go, all six in, nearly three foot apart. They're going to grow into one another, but that's not going to be a problem, I don't think, in this position. They can grow upwards nicely. It's going to be well-drained. Artichokes don't particularly like a moist or heavy clay soil. And this tilth's been beautifully turned over by Phil with his digger. I've got a fair bit of well-rotted horse manure worked into this, and the majority of it is year-old mushroom compost. So I'm hoping they're going to get their feet down really well. So let's get planting. Well, as you can see, this is absolutely lovely soil, lovely tilth, lovely lot of compost in it. And depth-wise, you want to get them just at the same level as they're growing in the pot, no deeper than that. And uh, let's get this one planted and show you how it should sit. Uh, just look at that perfect stage for potting out. The roots are just about to wind round, and that's absolutely perfect to go in. Nice and upright, just fill the soil back in around the plant and then firm it really well in. I'll do this with my boot in a minute. You don't want it raised around the plant at all. If anything, if you can create a slight well for watering just around the plant. That's the first one in. I'm going to do the same with the other five and then we'll show you the end result when they're all planted. Well, there we go, all six nicely planted in. I firm very gently around each plant just using my boot. You don't want to compact the soil around them, just you don't want these large plants rocking around in the wind at all. And I'm going to give them a really good water now. The compost in the pots before we planted them out 
was nice and moist. But what we don't want in the first growing season is these to dry out at all. So just for the first season it's important that you really water these regularly and don't allow the root balls as they're growing on to dry out. And you should see these growing away quite rapidly over the next month. So if we come back and show you these by the end of May we should have plants that are about twice this size. Now the subsequent care of your globe artichokes. Really young plants like these it's asking a lot for them to flower and fruit in the first year so if they do put any flower bud up if you really want to encourage the growth and strength of the plant it's best to cut those flower buds off. I know it's terrible to do. If you do it at a very small stage then those flower buds can be used and roasted whole. They are great. We will show you that recipe later in the season because we have got some mature globe artichokes that we do that with already. And after that, in terms of fertiliser or aftercare, I will just do nothing with this this year. Just water them, let them grow away because this new compost is going to be fantastic for them. But in subsequent years, then a high potash fertiliser or a top dressing with some well-spent manure or mushroom compost is all these plants need to really romp away. And they should give you a really nice structure here on this back border. In front of them I'm planning to put a row of permanent rhubarb because these plants will grow here now for around four or five years. We may be able to split suckers off them and uh, extend the number of plants we've got but they're a short-lived perennial globe artichokes so after about four or five years they really would benefit from being divided and moved to fresh soil whereas the rhubarb in front of them will grow probably to around a metre so that will be a nice forward planting in front of the globe artichokes in this position should maximally use the light that I've got coming onto this border from as we're looking now south. So let's see how we get on with these. Looking forward to some really good globe artichokes uh, next summer. Thanks for watching.